Lions here at the veteran who will be leading them. Now in his eighth year in the NFL. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. The Raiders at nine and one on the year. They've been as hot as anyone. The win last week makes it nine out of ten. And partner, to me, this is a team that no matter what the matchup, they're up for the fight. They are really suited for the postseason the way they're playing right now. And I would not want to face them come playoff time. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Now this defense for the Eagles, they were excellent a week ago in a victory over Arizona. Yeah, they held them completely out of the end zone, just held them to a field goal. So they're not just hoping for a repeat here, they're hoping to do it even better. A shutout is their goal. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 19. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. He goes right back to Adams. That's complete. And the Raiders are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Chubb. Will cross the line. He's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in. But I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot of the number one in the conference. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Back to throw. Golden. Got a man, it's Darren Waller. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Another big play as they get 28 out of that one. That reception, his 600th NFL catch. Congratulations, quite the accomplishment. On first and 10, Golden looking again for Waller, and he's got him again. Touchdown, Raiders! Darren Waller with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Raiders have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise with the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well. offense back out he had the touchdown pass on their previous drive and they'll search for another score as they begin here with a first and ten they begin this drive with Chubb 41 yards rushing for him now to this point hey, is that the most spectacular play? I think most 
this team will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. To throw on second down. Bolden, quick slant. That's blocked by the 5'11 Landry. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. This has to go down as one of the simple amounts in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Golden. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Looking to throw. Golden. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Raiders take a three-touchdown lead. Well, C.D., that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. And out. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there. Now a play fake here on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Brooks. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. On first down, Golden. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Operating from the gun, Golden. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 45-yard line. Back to throw, Golden. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Offense is moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Operating from the gun. Golden, throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Looking to throw. Golden. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, it's going to be hot routes if they sense a blitz or pressure on the...
So here are the Raiders now to take over. They've got the lead right now, and remember, they are riding that very impressive seven-game winning streak, trying to push it to eight. Throwing to start the drive. Golden, slant to Adams. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. He was able to run free after the catch. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 24 yards the game there. Another first down as well. Back to throw. Golden. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Looking to throw. Golden. His throw incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. Throwing on third and long. Golden. Throw left side complete. That's Adams. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Las Vegas' is offense back out there, ready to go. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find the hole. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield, marking down at the 49. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. Throwing on first down. Golden on the swing. Connects with Devontae Adams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. On first and ten, Golden. And he is going to lose yardage here. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Looking to throw on second down. Golden. And he's got the hook up to Landry. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got it first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. So first and ten now from the 30. And again, it's Chubb. Darius Williams in there to make the tackle. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Back 
to throw. Golden will find his tight end. That's Waller. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 14. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. They give the chub out of the gun. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And Chubb will try the middle here. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Now Chubb running right. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. show partner this was a close game for a long time close at half close down the stretch home team finds a way to get it done a narrow victory yeah they finished with a flourish didn't they It's week 12 of the 2025. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. And a look at the man under center. Now in his eighth season in the National Football League. Throwing to start the drive. Colder. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved. Able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with. That's for sure. And to me, this play says our guy is better than your guy's up. Because you know, part of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. He's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. A check on the numbers for Chubb from a week ago. 15 carries, 59 yards, and a touchdown. When a winning streak stretches this far, you start to wonder if a team is truly unstoppable. And here's a... Oh, trying to get that to Adams, but that's intercepted. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And the Broncos are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. He's hoping for better luck here on drive number two. Of course, the first drive, he threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. And now starting again here, first and ten. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Well, maybe that'll help him settle back into a groove after the interception on the first drive here, picking up the first to start drive number two. And it is just starting over, isn't it? Sometimes it's just how you have to do it. You have to erase things from your mind. Don't worry about what happened before because 
over the course of the game, the good players, things turn out pretty well for them, and that's what he's trying to do here. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. The Raiders hit 10-1 and one now on the year. They've gone a full couple of months now since their last loss. Winners of eight in a row. And we always talk about how a team has to play complementary football in order to really be a good squad. But I think in this league, if your offense isn't playing really well as this one is, you're not going to run off this kind of a streak. Coming into the week, he's the NFL's leader in receiving yards. There's his first catch, and it's good for a first down. Looking to throw. Golden. Delivering another one here to Darren Waller. He's got it again. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They'll run with Chubb, and he'll take it into the end zone for a later touchdown. Nick Chubb, his eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Raiders are within an extra point of tying up this. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So that if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is, and if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing, the answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it, and let's go with it. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Operating from the gun, Golden. That's caught by Waller out left side. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The end result, 21 yards. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. On first down, Golden. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. They go with Chubb on second down. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Five yards. Now it's third and five. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. Back to throw. Golden. Over the middle. That's caught by Adams. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 17-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Quick slant into the hands of Darren Waller. And the Raiders are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. They'll give it to Chubb. And he's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Nick Chubb, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Raiders have come back to make it a two-point game. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. Throwing on first down. Golden. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Broncos are going to take possession of the football. 
An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Throwing to start the drive. Golden. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game. And there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. Oh, a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. To throw on third down, Golden. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. On first and ten, Golden. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. Second and ten now. Third quarter action in Denver. Looking to throw. Golden. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Operating from the gun. Golden quickly into the hands of Waller. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way. Work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner? Safety? Linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Slants are so tough to cover because everything happens so fast, but sometimes it happens too fast for the guy catching the ball because all of his movements have to be quick off the line of scrimmage, and then all of a sudden the ball's right on top of you. And, and that is caught! Touchdown, Raiders! Darren Waller, his 21st touchdown of the season. And the Raiders are able to cut into that deficit. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to... The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. In the early days of the NFL, you could easily blame these drops on maybe some uneven or uncertain lighting in the stadium. Not anymore. The lights are pretty good. Yeah, they're great here at night, but his second drop indeed, not a good look. Now this one complete on the slant route. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On first down, Golden. And he rifles it complete, caught by Landry. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. They'll look to throw again. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That's going to be caught. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 
two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Nick Chubb with a milestone. Career touchdown number 100. Joining Curtis Martin and Franco Harris at the century mark as he continues to climb the all-time list. And the Raiders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. So the Raiders now down on the scoreboard. Just over a minute. Back to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. He's back to throw. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. He was unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. First down now, but the clock continues to move. They'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this one away. Here's Chubb to try to run it in. And he'll get into the end zone. So now a field goal would only tie as they up their lead to three. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is... you. to this one I mean this offense they had it down there inside the red zone but ultimately couldn't execute that So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. Throwing to start the drive. Golden. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Well, this defense for the Bengals, they were very strong last week in that win over Cleveland. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. Solid catch there for a man who's been so brilliant this year. Worth pointing out, as we were talking about earlier, there has never in the 60-year history of the award been a pass 
pass catcher, tight end, or wide receiver that has taken home the MVP trophy. And the best receivers I've talked with, they know that stat, and it drives them crazy because they understand that without a quarterback, they don't make the plays that they make. They also don't feel like they get enough credit for bailing out some of the throws the quarterbacks make. Absolutely. Takes two to tango. To throw on second down. Golden. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Throwing on first down. Golden. Got a man. It's Darren Waller. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Now a handoff up the middle. Compton. Now the stop will come inside the five of the four. Give him two yards. That sets him up first and goal. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. Operating from the gun. Golden. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Darren Waller. Touchdown number 22 on the season. And the Raiders have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. Is first. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He threw a touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll look to get him in the end zone again here as they start with the first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Looking again for Waller, and he's got him again. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. On first and 10. Golden. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Bengals grab it. And they have possession. And they have it at the 38-yard line. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next one. Throwing to start the drive. Golden got his man complete over the middle. It's Adams. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 17 yards is the pickup there for number 17. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Up the middle they go. Compton, and a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. The Raiders at 11-1 now on the year. And they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when 
they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where their open week fell. From the gun on third down, Golden. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. It'll go as a sack, a loss of three, and in turn, it takes us to a fourth down. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. And quickly, they get to the line. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. I did like his decision-making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down, and don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Buying time to his left. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, the connection they've had has been excellent today, but not on that snap. I think he was asking just a little too much as he extended that play, hoping for one more completion with it. From the gun on third down, Golden. And he finds Waller in the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Raiders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, he's regarded as one of the best athletes among NFL tight ends, Charles, and it certainly was on display right there. And as we've seen this league continue to grow and develop, I think the tight end position is becoming harder. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. On first down, Golden. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Back to throw again. This is caught. And he doesn't quite make it. Taking it within an eyelash. Dropped it to one. A good pick up there, 21 yards. On first down, Compton. And he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. And he think he... Throwing on first down. Golden. Puts another into the hands of Waller. 
And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Call that a very strong gain of 24. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Off the play fake, Golden. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. So second and ten, third quarter. Thanks for tagging along with us here from the Queen City of Cincinnati. To throw again, Golden. Quick slant, that's caught by the 5'11", Landry. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get up field for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. And that's complete to Adams. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. Back now in Cincinnati. It's the Raiders with the lead and the football here as we get ready to start quarter number four. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Evades him at the 20. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. So another on-target throw, and that last one, Charles, going to put him up over 5,000 yards passing out for the season, and that is not an insignificant number. Indeed it is not, because this is not a... And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Trey Hendrickson able to record his fifth sack of the season. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Touchdown! Jarvis Landry with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Raiders add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win... Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. On first and ten, Golden. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll run on first down. Compton, and he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Now that's mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Looking to throw on second down. Golden. And he finds Waller in the end zone for a Raider touchdown. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Raiders stretch this fourth quarter lead even further, and they are closing in on win number 12 of the season. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdowns. The Raiders heading out to take over. Now a 
a play fake here on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, Parker. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Back to throw. Golden. Slant to Adams. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. On second down now, Compton. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, Compton. And he'll only get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They'll run on first down. Compton. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. So this one a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second.